Throughout our lives, we all have something that we consider to be sacred or something that's so close to us that we treat it as if it were a family member, an object that holds a certain memory, a toy from our childhood that reminds us of our younger days, or perhaps in this case, a television show. Azumanga Daio was a manga series turned anime of high school girls who had funny and silly adventures. It was an instant hit. A cute and funny show like that had no chance of being overlooked. Far from it. Forums and chat rooms were filled with fans of the show, making silly images or talking about which character they related to most. Anime conventions were filled to the brim with Azumanga cosplayers even. The time that otakus didn't have to hide behind the security net of irony, coating themselves in it like it's some sort of armor. Back when people were genuine and had real excitement for a show. Quite frankly, I think anime fans are an extinct species. Now you may be asking yourself, aren't anime fans long from dead? I see people all of the time flaunting themselves in their usernames and avatars, calling themselves anime fans or weeaboos or some sort. These are the people who put on a disguise, a mask, if you will. Well, what do you mean by that? Let me explain. When you see people in the YouTube comments section or on Twitter or Discord with an anime avatar and a name calling themselves a quote unquote weeb, they're not interested in anime. At the most, really, they've only seen shows like Dragon Ball or My Hero Academia or whatever bloody nonsense is popular that everyone's seen. What they really enjoy is the look, the attention, the identity. They crave that sort of appearance of an anime fan and can easily obtain it through a simple avatar or profile picture because most people don't care to pull off the mask. Here's a fun little test. Ask one of these people to name 10 series they finished. Alternatively, you can ask them if they've read the manga. If they start stammering or stuttering or failing to come up with a straightforward answer, that's a common sign of a fake anime fan. If you see them rarely actually talking about the series they like in a serious way and instead just posting ironic memes about it on YouTube or Twitter, that's a definitive sign. What does this have to do with Azumanga Daio, you may ask? The Azumanga Daio fandom has been utterly destroyed by these fake anime fans. In the span of the past two years, Azumanga Daio went from a series that had a nice little group of genuine fans to a million Zoomer fans that have corrupted the very essence of Azumanga. You see these people on Steam or Discord or Twitter that have Osaka avatars. But if you ask them what their favorite moment from the manga is, they have no answer. Twitter was the main cause of this. It spread from one 15-year-old to another, like a virus, making these ironic Osaka memes of her being some sort of lobotomy patient or schizophrenic. That's not fucking funny. That's the furthest thing from funny or clever. They have this fixation on 2000s shit. It's ridiculous. You claim to be a weeaboo or otaku or whatever, but you're too ridden with ADHD to finish a 10 episode series. Absolutely bloody embarrassing. You're so desperate for validation that you have to sift through Twitter and find whatever show that Zoomers are eating up at the moment and put it all over your profile and pretend to be a fan for attention. Is it because your parents stuck you in front of a laptop at a young age because they didn't want to deal with you, so you have no personality of your own? You describe things with the words based or cringe or whatever the word of the month is because you have no feelings or opinions of your own. You copy words and dialect and memes and opinions from your online peers because you're trying to find a personality. But yet you don't realize that they're doing the same, just creating an endless cycle of mindless 16-year-old drones who post ironic memes and get all of their opinions from internet people. You don't care about anime. You don't give a fuck about Japan. You couldn't care less. You listen to Weezer for the same reasons, because you saw that stupid album art on someone's Steam profile and just had to listen to the album to be in the loop. You have a fascination with Windows XP because you're obsessed with nostalgia that you've never experienced. You picking a personality is like choosing a template. You were born in 2008. You never saw the internet before 2015 at most. You will never be able to experience it. Just learn how to grow the hell up and get a personality of your own instead of this ironic meme garbage. You're a copy-pasted human being. You've destroyed and wrecked fandoms like a dam bursting overnight. I hope you're bloody happy. Anyways, I ordered a McDonald's coffee 45 minutes ago, and they're probably pissed waiting for me. GTG.